Hi guys, I'm Laura and welcome to my new video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what's on my phone. So this is my phone. It's the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. And I've had this phone for about a month now. So it's quite new. There you can see it. This is my lock screen. It's just an elephant. Uh, so first I'm gonna show you just the cases that I have for this phone. As I said before, this phone is quite new, so I just have two cases for it right now. But I'm gonna order a few more. So the first one is this one. It's just like this white and blue kind of tribal and elephant. And it just looks like that. And then it covers a few parts of the front of the phone as well. And then on the side it has a plastic part just to protect the corners of the phone. And then the other case that I have is this one that I actually love. So it's just like this teal color and it has this like prints on it. And it's really really pretty. I really love this phone case. The only thing that I don't like is that it's not really protective for your phone since it's just like plastic and it's not really thick so it's just more pretty than protective and if you are a Pretty Little Liar fan you can tell on the last episode they were using this same phone case but in black on I think was Aria's phone so that was kind of cool as well so now I'm gonna show you like what's really inside my phone. Okay, so starting here on the top, I just have my Google bar and I just like to have it there because it's, I think it's pretty useful uh, to just have a quick access to it when you have to look something online really quickly or so. Then I have this widget where I have my date, time and current weather on my CD. And then as you can see I have all the apps that I use the most organized in different folders. So the first folder is called Utilities and in here I just have pretty random stuff um, like calculator, planner, voice recorder. Then I have this app that's called Duolingo and it's actually a really cool app. Uh, it's for learning new languages. So right now I'm using the app for learning Italian. Basically, you just start like with the basic stuff, like making sentences and vocabulary and all that stuff like that, and then it starts to get even harder and harder as you advance. And I think it's a really cool app, I really recommend it, and it has a bunch of other uh, languages. It, it also has English, Spanish, Italian and Portuguese, I think. So if you're interested in that, I really, really recommend that app. Then I just have the Google Translate, uh, Notes, and my Urban Dictionary app. Then on my social folder, I just have all the social networks. So I have Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Messenger, and Snapchat. And I think all those are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, then I have my photo folder, and in here I just have Gallery, Camera, InstaSize, that is the app that I use to cut my pictures to the Instagram size. And I have Photogrid, that it's the app that I use for making collages. So I think it's a pretty cool app. You just go through the app and you select the pictures that you want to use on your collage. And then it will organize the pictures and you can make them bigger or smaller. Or you can like reorganize them. And I think it's a really cool app. I really like it a lot. Uh, then I have uh, Mirror Image Free. That it's just an app that I use for getting my pictures that mirror effect. I really really like that effect so you just uh, go to your gallery and you select the pictures that you want to use and then you can change them, you can make, it, make them bigger or smaller, you can make two of them or you can make four of them. So I really really like this app. Then I have my audio folder and in here I just have my Spotify. If you want to follow me on my Spotify, I will let the link down below. I also have Shazam, that it's just an app for recognizing songs. So if you're listening to a song on the radio and you don't know what the song is, so you just run it through Shazam and it will tell you the song and the singer. 
Then I have YouTube, the YouTube Studio um, little tool for checking out like you know the views on my videos and reading all your comments and all that stuff. And then I have Music Match, that it's actually an app that goes with Spotify. And what it does is when you play a song in Spotify, it will show you all the lyrics of the song. So I think it's a really cool app. I really, I really, really like it. I don't know, I always like to have the lyrics when I'm listening to music. So I like that app. I really recommend it. Then I have uh, my clock just for setting up all my alarms and everything. And then I have my mail folder, and in here I just have my Gmail account and my Hotmail account. Uh, then I have a games folder, and in here I just have Fruit Ninja, that I think it's a pretty known game. I think it's very self-explanatory. Then I have my Young, that it's just a game, uh, it's about making pairs. So you have a bunch of tokens like displayed in a different order, and you what you have to do is you have to look for the matching pairs. and like match them and as you go and match the pairs they will disappear from the screen and then you win when you have no more tokens on the screen then I have Sudoku that I think it's also pretty self-explanatory and I have this game that it's called the tower and I think it's really cool I really like it um, basically you have this tower and you have uh, the blocks that are moving around and you just have to tap anywhere on the screen to place the blocks and the point is that you have to place them as close to the to the one before as you can because if not you're gonna start losing pieces pieces of block and then you're gonna end up like with a really small piece and it's gonna get harder and obviously the point of the game is making a tower as big as you can and then I have this other game that is called AA and I think it's really really cool as well um, basically, you just have these black things going around and then you have black, these black bolts um, like down here and what you have to do is you have to put them between the ones that are turning around without knocking them, like that. So I think it's also a really addictive game, I really really like it a lot. Uh, I think you should totally try it. I'm right now on level 25. So if you try this game, let me know in the comments below which level you get to. Then I have this move folder and in here I just have um, the first one is an app for calling cabs in my city. Then I have Google Maps and then I have Move It that it's kind of like a Google Maps but it's linked with my local bus services. So you just tape... Um, you just put in where you are and where you want to go and it will tell you which bus uh, to catch. Then uh, on the down bar I have WhatsApp, phone messages and Google Chrome and then I have this button that leads you just to the whole apps. And then on the second page I just have my lantern and I have the shop folder and in here I have first um, my Aero that it's just the link from a company called Aeropost. So, as I don't live in the USA, but I really like to buy things online, um, I have an account with this company that basically what it does is that it gives you an address in Miami, so you can shop online and you, you give that address that they give you, and then they will ship you everything that get on your name to the address to your, to your home, to your home at your home city, whatever. Um, and obviously they will charge you for the shipping, but it's the rates for shipping are less expensive than the stores ones. So I really like that app. I'll li leave the link down below if you're interested in it, if you like to shop online and you don't live in the USA. Then I have a Play Store just for downloading apps. Then I have a currency app that it just converts the my current money to, for example, American dollars or things like that. Then I have a takeout app that it's just an app that, it's really cool actually. You just enter and you type on your address and it will look at uh, all the restaurants that are open near to you and it will classify them by the type of food. So it's really good because you can see like all the different restaurants you can order from and then you make your order and you, they will send it to your home and then you just pay the food and 
sometimes depending on the restaurant they will charge you a little bit extra fee for taking it to your home or sometimes they don't so I think it's really cool because it's it's free pretty much like you just pay for the food um, but you can see like all the different restaurants and possibilities you have and then I have my Aliexpress and Aliexpress is basically kind of like an Amazon but for retailer stores so you can find a bunch of things really you can find pretty much whatever you look for and it's really really like cheaper than on Amazon the only thing is that the uh, the shipping could take a little bit more of time because it's, it's shipped directly from China but they do get to your house I've used this app like several times and the products are really good quality and the shipping does get to your house it takes longer but it does get there and um, I really really recommend it the only thing you have to take into account is that you have to look uh, like the opinions on the retailer stores to look for a good one the one who has like more good comments and all that stuff but I think it's really cool so I really really recommend checking it out okay so that was pretty much everything on my phone I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you on my next video bye